Hey guys, it's Malamaroki, and I'm joined by my brother. Hi. And I'm back with another video recorded on a slug. I don't have any other microphone or camera other than my brother's phone, so I hope when I save up enough money, I can get a camera and a microphone, but for now, this phone is okay. Honestly, I used to think that I couldn't record these videos because I didn't have a good camera, but then I heard that a lot of newer artists were also using their phones, so I just went ahead and used this phone to record, and these videos are what came out. I think that if you're starting out, it's alright to use your phone and a couple of lamps or something to record, but if you're addressing a larger audience, I think you would want to record on something other than a phone. Probably better than a phone. <laughs> Take a channel like uh, Game Theory. Their videos used to sound like someone put a piece of bread over the microphone and started recording. Kind of like this video. But their content was amazing and that's why they got popular. If you have good content, people will watch you and they'll ignore the subpar quality of video and audio. But with Game Theory, now their video quality is really good and they have little animations in every single video because they have a team of animators. Because they were reaching out to more people, their quality actually improved a lot. For me, I hope to just do what I love, drawing. I really don't think I'll be able to live off of YouTube as a job, but I do hope to do commissions. I would would like to make some money off of this, but I'd use the money from it to get better equipment starting off with a microphone. For commissions, I hope to have them up soon, but I'm not sure where to start, mainly because I don't necessarily want PayPal because of all of the crap they've pulled on their customers when they get larger sums of money, and I don't know then how I would charge people. I. I do know that there are other ways to use the internet to aid in commissions, but they aren't that universal or used, and I feel like it'd be too much of an inconvenience. The other reason is because I'm not sure how to send things in the mail. Well, I've sent things in the mail before, but I don't actually have the money to buy the supplies for it to be able to send it in the mail, so... I think that on YouTube, pretty much everyone agrees that newer YouTubers should be able to record the content they have with the device they own in their own home because otherwise only big producers of video media would be able to afford camera equipment. Some of the pros of recording on your phone can really sway how you look at this argument. For example, one pro is that it's cheap. If you have a limited budget, then this can be a very important thing to consider. A budget can limit you to a low quality recording device that really restricts your audience to people who will ignore the fact that you may not have good quality, but these newer phones have a relatively good quality, so you may not even have to forfeit quality for price. Two for one. Another pro is that it's very convenient. If you can record with something that you already have, then it's super easy. It's better than buying a $400 to $600 camera just for a YouTube video. Thank you, David. But there are some cons of recording on your phone. For example, if you don't know how to work a phone recording, like locking the brightness on the camera, then it's pretty much useless, because if you don't know how to use your equipment, then what's the point? And secondly is space on the phone. I have had problems with this and have lost two videos from lack of storage. It's really difficult to record things on a phone if you don't have enough storage and keeping the whole video on your phone while editing. Thank you so much for watching! I'm glad you stuck around to the end. If you have anything to add, then go ahead and say it in the comments. Thank you for joining us on this drawing adventure. Have a great day!